Welcome to the Art of Hitting channel. Today we have a, uh, a short piece on uh, a training session. I won't call it training session, a coaching session in our club's activity today. Uh, one of our buddies from town, uh, Tom Quinn, came down from the Post Road Hitting Club to see if we couldn't help him in some of the things he's trying to improve. Let's see what uh, Tom's trying to improve and we'll go from there. Hey, welcome, man. Here we're at the Art of Hitting Club and we got uh, Tom Quinn from the Sherwood Hidden Club, Sherwood Park, another big park in this town. But uh, I want to talk to Tom, what is it that uh, you want to work on, Tom? I think the biggest thing is right now is I'm not fully swinging, <clears throat> seem to be stepping out of the bucket, into the bucket, and then taking stuff off the handle, just not getting the power in the ball. And it shows a little bit that, you know, my senior age, but uh, I'm just not getting anything on the ball like I used to. It doesn't seem to be making the contact with sweet spot anymore. Well, last time, last time I was at Post Road, I, I you know, I watch you all the time because you had come out here one other time, right? Right. And that was the thing you weren't going all through, all the way through. But I did see you do that a couple of times. You got some nice swings the last couple of times I right. was out there. I remember. And, it was uh, a good day. Yeah. So Dan and uh, I and uh, John will, will work with you. So we'll let you uh, go. Like, uh, why don't you let him go ahead of you, Dan, so we can sure. video him, then he can look at it, and we can look at it. Cool. So the plan here is we're going to video you in fast motion and slow motion. We'll look at it, and then we'll see what. The, okay. okay. Outstanding. That's not a bad swing. If you follow through, it would. Uh, let me tell you what you're doing. You're moving your feet, dude. It's the right. You see that? Yeah. Don't move your feet. That right foot is like in a bucket. The, or the, hold on, hold on a second. When I say the right foot, the back foot. Yeah, right. That stays put. That's your base. That's where you're driving your power from. When it's moving, you ain't getting any power from the ground. You did it again. That's a habit you're gonna to have to correct for sure. Watch, watch this. On the, watch him move his foot. Oh, you didn't do it that much. You didn't do it that much. But you have no step, right? Yeah. What are you seeing, John? You seeing what I'm seeing or what? Yeah, a lot of that pitching too. Pitches are short. Real close stance too. Well, close stance is all right if that's what. But he's got to have a step with it. See, his first step is moving his right foot. Right yeah. Now you had a halfway decent swing on that one, and you, and and your mechanics were, were almost there. Do you see that, guys? Back foot moved, any step. You go ahead and say that. What's he done? Well, he's more like he should be somewhere around the yeah. line. His so hands when are swing. It's palms yeah. up, palms down. If you remember that. Yeah. yeah. So he's a little more like this. Yeah. So it kind of restricts the swing a little bit. Okay. After John finished with the hands, we went into the feet, of course, and, uh, and talked about uh, the most important thing is uh, his footwork and his spinning as a heel. And, uh, you know, basically I'm going to put in a clip from uh, Bob uh, Waldike who explained it, it all. It is tremendously important to a fast swing. If you ever look at somebody that's got a great swing, he's got fast, good hip rotation. So as you're striding, you point your toe. Your back foot is going to pivot, which will open your hips. And then as your hips rotate open, you lock your front leg, which pushes the front part of your hip back for more, even greater hip rotation. So as you're striding, you come down, hip rotation. Now the hips will go first. So your hips will start your swing. 
the hips will lead before the hands. It's real fast, but your hips go first. So in other words, you stride, you drive with that hip. You want to drive with that hip. Hip rotation, that's where the rotation comes from your hips. You keep your hands back, ready to extend later and get the arm extension. As you start your hip rotation, your back foot pivots to make your hips rotate. Notice how the hands are back and now you just start to rotate your hips as fast as possible and as much as possible so that when you're done swinging, your hips will be pointed towards the pitcher. Open wide, as much hip rotation as you can generate. So remember, the faster your hips are, the faster your hands are gonna be, the faster your bat speed's gonna be. As humans, we have to adapt. In athletics, we, as seniors, we have to adapt. And let's see how well uh, Tom's going to adapt to the changes that uh, we've suggested to him. Okay, Tom, re review it, what you're going to be focused on right now. All right, well, we just went over the lesson was to focus on keeping the, the back. The weight on the still, back foot. The weight on that foot, and then following through with the left, and that will pull your hips through. Show me in a dry run what we're going to do. There you go. Okay, let's see if we can duplicate that. Okay. Now, when you learn to twist the, the, those hips when you do that, there you go, better. I'll be a little more violent with this. like Ed Rose. Yeah, and that's, that's a good point. Or, or like John Franny or Jerry Duguay. Be mad at it. Yeah. There you go. Try to swing it like you swing that damn axe when you're going to cut somebody out of a fire. Huh? What about that? Yeah, we use Jaws. Jaws. It used to be a fireman. Yeah, you're still you got, using your arm. You got to get, you got to, how much you weigh? How, hold on, how much do you weigh? Right now, 210. Okay. You need to get that 210 pounds behind that swing. Right, John? Yeah, you're just hitting it with, just hitting it with your arm. There you go. That's better. You That's got your better. hips into that was it. Better. And Jerry just said the right thing. You're hitting all arms. Get that freaking body. I did it for oh, YouTube. Nice. I did not use the F word. Get the freaking body. Uh, oh my God! You're getting worse. Into the swing. That's how you do the hips. Weight back. Weight back. Step. Swing. Hands back. There you go. There you go. With these damn bats, you can let the bat do the work if you swing it. There you go. Yeah, that was the arms. Yeah. But, uh, but it's getting there. You're swinging, you're turning your hips. Oh. oh, hell, that's a hell of a pitch right there. Bad ball. Strike. <laughs> there you go. You come. Let it get to you more. On the way down, attack it. There you go. There you go. How about that? Did you do that that time? Okay, let it get down because your mind will make up the difference and increase bat your bat speed. speed. Yep. Whoa, yeah, you just missed that baby. Oh, was that going to go? <laughs> Step forward, hands back. There you go. That's right, dude. That's all you. Now, what's Tom's feet? We got that step. Oh, you look at that back foot. See how he moved that back foot? Look. He moved that back foot, step. So he's back to set again, but he's wasted movement for nothing. And um, so then he steps, goes down, comes around. There's there's no spin. He's got to spin more. See, he's not spinning. Look, you see, there's no really like fluid motion in the hips, and the bat's not really swinging. He's kind of pushing it. But he's got to learn to like swing like you're swinging an axe, really. You could, yeah. So he's got to he's got to work on that kind of stuff. Now watch this swing. He's got his leg up, all good. Hands go back. He needs to bring him back a little farther. Comes around. Step down and look, he's pivoting on the back foot. Not enough. I don't think he's really pushing off, but it's coming. That's what he's got to work on right there. Now you got to admit, 
He needs to work up a little more on his torque up in the upper body. He needs to do some maybe exercise in the gym to turn them them uh, hip flexors in, in his hips and uh, do a little core work. But that's what he needs to do a little more on that step. Step, turn, spin. That doesn't look too bad. Now watch this one. He's almost got it here. The step, arms back. Look, right. Right? The step, arms back. Around he comes. Look at his feet. Now that's a lot better than what we saw, right? Yeah. Now he's getting it. He, this is at the end of practice. And he needs, he needs, as Bruce Lee said one time, well, I'll tell you that later in the, in the, in the video, but <laughs> this, this is not that bad. He just got to refine And get the arm extension. That. As you start your hip rotation, your back foot pivots to make your hips rotate. Notice how the hands are back, and now you just start to rotate your hips as fast as possible and as much as possible so that when you're done swinging, your hips will be pointed towards the pitcher. Open wide. As much hip rotation as you can generate. So remember, the faster your hips are, the faster your hands are going to be, the faster your bat speed's going to be. Tom um, and anybody else that's looking at this for input, uh, listening to what uh, Bob Waldike told you in the, the, the two times I showed you his videos, exactly how you do it and what you got to get to. Now, Tom, he's done uh, a good job in, a, in like a two hour practice to, to develop where he is now. If you look at this, this is a, a lot better than where he started at the beginning of this film. He's got that nice step. He steps, the hands are back. He's coming around. He's actually rotating a little bit. I don't see that really push off on that back foot as much as it should be, but he'll get there. You got to work hard. Now the Bruce Lee story is it goes like this. He, you know, he said he wasn't afraid of uh, a guy that could uh, do a uh, hundred different kicks. He was more afraid of a guy that could do one kick and he'd do it ten thousand times a day. And that's kind of uh, what you need to do in this. You need to develop uh, uh, in practice by doing it uh, uh, anywhere from fifty to a hundred times a day until you get your swing down. Don't leave me hanging. Hit subscribe. Thanks.